we've always argued for long, uh, LeBron chasing Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. This feels like Michael Jordan chasing LeBron. Right or wrong? Well, it, it does. But you know what's weird is that, you know, when we go back to the 60s when you had Jim Brown and, and Bill Russell and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Muhammad Ali, those issues directly affected those athletes. They had to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. What you see LeBron doing and Carmelo, yes, it deals with them, but it, not really. It doesn't... In, where, where we live as professional athletes, yeah. we're not feeling it. So for them to really come out and take a sense in LeBron... He, he, he shifts his way in. Even when the stuff happened in Cleveland, he said something, but he didn't jump out there. But for those guys to step out there when it really doesn't directly affect them like it did back in the 60s, he says something. And I think for Michael Jordan, it was a situation where he had to say something. But again, I'm going to go back to this, Jason. It came on the back end of other guys stepping up in the forefront.